best business ideas with low investment. Are you looking for some great business ideas that don't require a lot of initial investment? If so, you are in the right place. In this video, we are going to be discussing some of the best business ideas that don't require a lot of upfront capital. By the end of the video, you will have a lot of ideas that you can start working on right away. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe because more videos like this are on the way. Number one, start a drop shipping business. Buy stock, store it, pick it, pack it, ship it. Managing inventory is a big commitment when you're running a business. Drop shipping is an easy, low cost business idea to start and the first of our good business ideas. Drop shipping is a fulfillment model where a third party supplier stores and ships inventory to customers on your behalf. It's one of the best businesses to start because it's low overhead, hands off and scalable. You don't need to handle any products yourself. You just need to make the sales and pass orders onto your supplier. In fact, it's one of the quickest and cheapest businesses to start. You can curate products from one or more suppliers into your own online store under a theme that focuses on a specific niche, like gear for yoga enthusiasts or water bowls for dog owners. When a customer buys a product from you, the order is sent to your supplier, who fulfills it on your behalf. However, you are still responsible for your own marketing and customer service. There are both local and overseas suppliers that you can work with, as long as you can establish a relationship with them built on trust. An unreliable supplier will reflect poorly on your brand. Dropshipping is a great way to test product market fit and launch a business before you invest in your own original products. Just be sure to always order a sample for yourself to make sure your supplier is reliable and that the quality of the products is fit for selling to your customers. Create a membership program. Online memberships are ideal for entrepreneurs with an established, active, and engaged community. They work much like a subscription-based business. Customers make recurring payments in exchange for a virtual product or service. Memberships are great for managing members-only access to content on a website, and even for physical businesses that offer guided sessions online. Yoga studios, gyms, clubs, and art schools are a few examples of businesses that can easily take advantage of this business model. Since the content is behind a gate that only paying subscribers can access, you can also host exclusive live streams in addition to or instead of downloadable content. Regardless of the route you take, be sure to record in a quiet space so the audio is clear and distraction-free. It's also a good idea to use email marketing to keep your members informed of new content. Emails, video teasers, and customer testimonials are a great way to build excitement for new launches. Number three, launch your own book. A book is just another type of product when you think about it. As such, you can create one to serve a particular demand in the market. Cookbooks, picture books, comic books, poetry books, photo books, coffee table books, and novels. If you've got the knowledge or creativity, there are a variety of original books you can bring to the market. The options are endless. That's why it's one of the best small business ideas to start. Print-on-demand is a relatively safe way to test the waters and get started with self-publishing. It also gives you control over the quality and look of your book. Lulu Express and Blurb are popular platforms to create, order, and distribute your own books as physical and digital products. You could also sell it on third-party marketplaces like Amazon or Powell's. While you can order one book at a time, costs naturally go down when you buy in bulk. Consider pre-selling or crowdfunding your book idea to ensure there's demand and guarantee a certain number of sales so you can feel confident making a bulk order. Launching your own book can be a great way to monetize a blog if you have or are looking to start one. Number four, create digital products or online courses. Digital products like music, courses, podcasts, and templates are unique on this list of low investment small business ideas. Unlike the others, they're not tangible. They aren't recurring manufacturing or shipping costs to worry about, so your margins can remain high, making it another no-brainer for being one of the best businesses to start. The trick is figuring out what makes for a good digital product. What is useful enough that people are willing to pay to download it? The answers range from original instrumental beats to stock photos that can be licensed to other creators 
to information products and templates that help people level up their skill sets in a particular field. If you've got a talent that can be turned into a digital product, think about packaging it into a new stream of income. Sell subscription boxes. If you're not interested in creating your own products to sell, you can curate them. One of the best small business ideas is to sell subscription boxes with curated products that follow a certain theme. One of the great parts about subscription boxes is you can create them for pretty much every single niche out there. For example, featuring merchants and makers in your community is one of the best local business ideas for subscription boxes. You can also go for themes like yoga, beer brewing, or pets. The possibilities are pretty much limitless. Like memberships, subscriptions are good business ideas to start because they create a recurring revenue stream. People have to proactively cancel their subscription if they don't want to continue paying for it. Subscriptions also lend themselves to collaboration. When you curate products from different merchants, you can get in front of their audiences, a whole group of potential new subscribers. Number six, start a charitable business. Starting a nonprofit organization isn't the only path you could take to help fund a better world. Having a mission to go along with a business and setting aside some profit for a cause gives social entrepreneurs a unique way to position their company in the market while addressing the issues they care about most. While many social enterprises offer their own original products, you can also take any of the low-cost small business ideas above and partner with a nonprofit or execute that social good with your own hands, as long as you're transparent about how it works. As part of your marketing, you can share the impact that your customers are having by supporting your business, such as a blog post covering your work in the community or a real-time impact calculator on your website. Number seven, sell a service. Offering services isn't passive, but it certainly can be a lucrative way to gain self-employment. With services-based small business ideas, time is your inventory and your biggest investment. You've only got a limited supply of hours in your day. However, that makes it easier to get up and running if you've got skills that are in demand. You could offer these skills as an ongoing service or start a consulting business that advises on projects. It's one of the best business opportunities because it can be expanded with any of the other ideas above to create additional revenue streams by productizing services through physical or digital goods. A photographer, for example, can service a local event while selling prints online through their Instagram account. A freelance writer can sell a copywriting swipe file of high converting sales copy. Coupling your service-based business with physical products can give you another source of income that isn't tied directly to your time. I hope you guys surely liked and enjoyed our video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.